What's up, everyone? My name is Ian Davio. Um, I'm going to be competing in the Fitness Atlantic on uh, April 14th, representing the WBFF, pushing for that Fit Model Pro card because that's the next step in the mainstream level of organization that I want to be a part of. Take that transition from uh, international model to uh, a mainstream organization like uh, the WBFF, the best of the best, be the WBFF. I'll see you all there. I hope to see you guys there too. This is your whole stage. Obviously, it's not just scale, but would you come in? That smile. Yeah. I usually have on center stage. You didn't show me a lot of things. That's the best thing. Because they show off the abs. That's like a quarter so many things. So they show off the abs. Nice smile. Yep. Yeah. Again, come to the corner. And then the photographer's down there. Get a quick pose. Usually, I would do something like. Uh, this, this is usually one of my favorite photos. I don't like what I just did. And then one thing that you really want to do is like, remain smiling the entire time. So you're going to come over here, do the same thing. And that's the, that's the good thing about fitness model is you're not really restricted to have your routine or anything. You go out, have fun, show what you got, show your best. You know, you're going to show the back right here, show that. And then you'll you probably come back and then, you know, just, that's what I got. But then when you come back, you want to stay smiling, stay posed, stay kind of flexing just a little bit, keep showing the abs a little bit, because even after you're done, the judges will be still be looking at you in the back. So um, they would, um, it's kind of staggered. Like when they call somebody, let's say you just finished your, uh, your walk and everything, they call somebody else, so and so come out to the stage. There's probably some of those judges are still going to be probably looking at you back here. Just wait, you know, still looking at you. So make sure you hold that smile the whole time. You know, show it you everything you got. <laughs> it doesn't matter how cheesy it is, <laughs> how corny you feel. They're always going to be looking at you. And then um, they usually have you come to the front of the stage. Every, whenever they have all the models out, they have you walk to the front of the stage. And then same thing, you know, relax. You don't need to be flexing all the time. That's what I heard. And um, uh, they'll shit. They'll say, you know, just face front, face to the side. And then you can hit a pose. Your best pose to the side, to the back. Oh, Usually, a lot of guys. What I've seen is a lot of guys in fitness modeling. They don't really flex in the back. They kind of stay relaxed. Not like a, a bodybuilder. Sometimes I just like to. I like to show my back because I feel like my back is best in the back. Then another turn to the right. Really relaxed, still smiling. To the front, and then. Towards the end of their, uh, the whole fitness modeling category, they'll just have everybody do whatever you want, you know, show what you got, go crazy. That's when you can just let loose and just be like, ah, you know, show what you got, scream and yell, holler and everything. Try to get as much attention on you as possible. You know, you got guys running across the stage, some guys may be upstaging other people, but it's like, that's the whole part of the competition. And then they send your asses back off stage. <laughs> Stop. It's a little bit different. So bodybuilding, you're out as far as you can be. Mm -hmm. Muscle models more like it's a little bit more relaxed mm -hmm. and focused on your abs. Yeah. And you're gonna still gonna hit one leg, but maybe like move one leg out in front of you. And then you just kind of like tighten up everything. Like, you know, where maybe one hand like on your side. Yeah, one hand just kind of, yeah, like kind of out like that. Tighten everything through here. Tighten this. And try to bring your lats out a little bit. So that one will put me in. But I think, I think your physique it really fits that criteria. Especially your abs. Really tighten everything. And you look like a lot of guys that Watch the DVD. Yes. But my DVD is a habit on it. So you got to Google it. Okay. WBFF Muscle Model mm -hmm. and watch what they did at Worlds. Okay. And then just practice off of that. Yep. And, you know, see how the tan is for the show. Definitely sign up for the spray tan. It's easier yeah. than trying to have everybody tan you. Yeah. You know, and fried. Show it up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you don't have to get like, you don't even have to go to tanning. You can show up on Friday and she can spray you and make you dark enough. They she have knows the color. Right? You and you guys don't use baby oil, it's too thick. You know, it'll wash right out, you look like a mirror on stage. And just and there's still guys with your skin tone that get sprayed just to have a certain color because the lights can make you look like a little off. You know? Oh, so you wouldn't recommend oil at all? A uh, thin oil. What did you use? Uh, no, I almond oil. I think I used so here. Hi, my name is Chris Poirier. I'll be competing again at Fitness Atlantic 2012, April 14th. I'm the only heavyweight here. <laughs> uh, I'm from Avon, Connecticut, and, and uh, I've been bodybuilding for three years. And hopefully, I will be taking first.
Andrew Jones competing in the fitness modeling category. You should not be now competing in WBFF um, muscle category. Kaiwan Adams, middleweight, muscle. Chris Bakowski, fitness. What's going on, everybody? The name's Dave Fitz from Total Fitness in Wolka, Connecticut. Uh, on April 14th, 2012, I'm going to be competing in WBFF Fitness Atlantic. Best of the best.